This is problem number two from the H8-6 homework. The directions state to simplify each expression without using a calculator. So we have a lot of complex numbers it looks like here and some imaginary ones at the bottom and we're just gonna simplify them here. So the first one, we have the quantity of four plus two i plus the quantity of negative three minus five i. Well, since we're adding, you know, the parentheses are really irrelevant. So we're looking at four plus two i plus a negative three, and then we have minus a five i. So as we look at that here, we're just gonna combine the like terms. Looks like I have a real number here, and then I'm adding a negative three. So four plus negative three is gonna give us just one. And then we've got a positive 2i and a negative 5i. When we combine those, we get a negative 3i. So we get 1 minus 3i is our answer. All right, letter B. This one, we have the quantity of negative 3 plus 4i minus the quantity of 5 plus 2i. So because this one has the minus between, we do have to do a little something here. Okay, so we're going to take it here, we're going to distribute this negative through, and when we do that, we're going to have a negative 3 plus 4i still in the front, but now it's like I'm taking away 5, and I'm taking away 2i. And we'll just take it and combine our like terms here. Looks like we've got a negative 3 and a negative 5, so when we combine those, we're going to get negative 8. And then when we've got our positive 4i and negative 2i, that's going to give us a positive 2i. So negative 8 plus 2i. All right, looking at letter C. This one's another subtracting problem there, right? So let's take it, let's distribute our negative through. So our answer or well our problem here as we look to simplify we have negative 8 minus 7i and then we're going to take away 5 and this time we're going to take away a negative 4i which is going to be like plus 4i and now again we'll just combine our like terms our real numbers are negative 8 and negative 5 which will give us a negative 13 and our imaginary numbers we're dealing with, we have negative 7i plus a 4i will give us a negative 3i. So our answer, negative 13 minus 3i. Letter D. Now we're going to be looking at multiplying. So with this one here, you can do whichever method you prefer. You can use the area model or you can FOIL. That's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and FOIL it here. I'm going to say... 3 times 5 is going to give me 15. And then I'm going to say 3 times positive 4i would be a positive 12i. And then I'm going to do negative 2i times 5 would be a negative 10i. And then I'm going to do a negative 2i times a 4i, which would be a negative 8i squared. Now that negative 8i squared we know is going to be like saying negative 8 times negative 1, which is going to be like a positive 8. So when I bring down everything else here, I've got 15 plus 12i minus 10i plus 8. And then we'll just combine our like terms. We've got 15 and 8 will give us 23. And then our... 12i and our negative 10i are going to give us a positive 2i. So we have 23 plus 2i is our answer. Letter E, we have uh, a binomial that's being squared. So remember, that means the same thing as 3 minus 4i times the quantity of 3 minus 4i. Again, we'll go ahead here and distribute it out. We've got 3 times 3 is going to give us 9. We've got 3 times negative 4i be negative 12i. Then we've got negative 4i times 3 would be another negative 12i. And then we're going to do our negative 4i times a negative 4i would be a positive 16i squared. 
And again, that's going to, that I squared becoming negative one is going to turn into a negative 16. And then the rest of it we'd have here, nine minus 12i minus 12i minus 16. Combine your like terms. Nine and negative 16 is going to give you a negative seven. And then our negative 12i and negative 12i are going to give us negative 24i. So negative seven minus 24i would be the answer. Letter F, just got a little bit more going on. Now if you pay attention to what's happening here, we're just taking our equation from D, or I'm sorry, our expression from D, and we're subtracting the expression from E, right? So this is like, this is like our answer from D minus our answer from E. So just to be kind of quick about it here, we know this really means 23 plus 2i minus, so it's all of this, minus the quantity of negative 7 minus 24i. So let's just take it here and treat it like it's a subtraction problem now, right? Let's uh, we'll take it here and distribute that negative through. So we now have here 23 plus 2i then, um, you know, when we subtract a negative 7, it's like adding 7. And when we subtract a negative 24i, it's like plus 24i. And then we'll just combine our like terms. So we have a 23 and a 7 is our real numbers. So that's going to give us 30. And then our positive 2i and positive 24i will give us a positive 26i. And that's it for that one. Let's move on to G. G says simplify i to the 33rd power. So remember, one of the methods that we chose to look at in class there was saying if we took our i to the 33rd and we cut one off and made it i to the 32nd times an i, okay, we know this would equal i or negative i. So then all we have to do there is figure out if the value of the i to the 32nd power is 1 or negative 1. And we said if that exponent is divisible by 4, then it would be 1. And if it's not divisible by 4, then it's negative 1. 32 divided by 4 is 8, so it is divisible by 4, which means this is really just 1. And we have 1 times i is going to give us i. So i is the answer for g. i to the 925th. So now we do have another odd exponent there. So we'll say i to the 924th power times an i. Okay, so we know the answer is going to be i or negative i. With this one, 924, we need to figure out if it's divisible by 4. Well, if I think about it there, right, it's like um, if I take 924, we know that 924 is equal to 900 plus 24. If I can divide each of them by 2 twice there, right? If I divide 900 by 2, it's 450. And if I divide 24 by 2, I get 12, right? So I've only divided it by 2 right now. So both of those numbers are even still. So that means it is going to be divisible by 4 because I can divide them both by 2 again. So we're in, ending up there with, what, 225 plus 6? You can use whatever method of division you want to use, but I believe it should be 231, okay, when it's divisible by 4. So that means here this is really 1 times i, which is i. Okay, there's all different ways to divide that by 4, you know. I like to think about if I can cut it in half twice, then it's divisible by 4. If you just want to divide by 4, that's fine. That problem does not require a calculator. If you're in Honors Algebra 2, you shouldn't be saying, well, he should be letting me use a calculator. No. You shouldn't be using a calculator there. All right, so next one, simplify i to the 460th power. This one's even, so we know the answer is going to be 1 or negative 1. We just need to figure out, is 460 divisible by 4? Again, if I can divide it by 2 twice, then it's divisible by 4. Well, I divide 460 by 2, we know that's 230. That's another even number, so yes, therefore, this is going to be just 1 because our exponent would be 115 there. So we've got the answer for this one is 1. 
All right, so that is the answer for number two. If you have questions, please make sure you reach out to me here. I'm here for you, even though we are working from home. Um, you know, it's important you still get your questions answered. All right, thanks for watching.